But it's something I want to bring up about if we're talking about uh, coaches, Mark Jackson, former mixed point guard. Uh, what do you think he's going to do with the Warriors? Well, you know, that's a good question. I'm a little concerned because um, I think he's going to slow him down. I think they're not going to be as exciting as they used to be. I think Crawford would have been great out there if they had held on to him, but they didn't. And now I think they're going to slow the pace down. Mark Jackson was the control point guard, you know, and he would slow it down so they could run whatever pace they were running put it in there to the big man. I mean, he's a good ball player, you know, one of the fifth career leaders. I'm not, you know, I'm just saying the Warriors have become known for playing this exciting style of basketball, and I think you're going to kind of see an offensive retrenchment at this point. Uh, There's going to be a focus on defense, and the offense is going to be more of a set, uh, running offensive set kind of thing. You know, the scores are going to come down. Um... And they're going to realize that they can't make it with both Monte Ellis and Stephen Curry because the game is going to slow down and they're going to have to have somebody at the two that can bang with some of these bigger guards. So that's what I think is going to happen there. I'm not so, they may play well, but I think the style that they've been known for these past five or six years, or really longer, you know, as long as it started back when they got Nelson, you know, and even with the you know, the three amigos way back with uh, Tim Hardaway and Mullen and um, Mitch Richardson. So I think that tradition is going to begin to change. And I think that's one of the things that the owners liked about Mark Jackson and why he got hired in the first place. So I'm a little bit sad about that, even though I hope Mark Jackson does a great job. But for just plain entertainment value for the Golden State, it's always a good game to come on. You can always knew it was going to be entertaining. Those guys are going to run the floor put some points up. And uh, most Bulls fans didn't like, like to see them because they always gave D. Rose a hard time with that full court press. So, uh, 94 by 90 all the way on them. Yeah, they would trap him and take the ball from him, you know, because the whole thing is that, I mean, take the ball out of his hands. The whole thing is that you can't let one guy beat you. I don't care how good he is. One guy cannot beat you. If he's bringing your defense down, you got to stop the ball. you got to make him pass it. And then you just try to stay on and stop him from getting it back. You know, make every possession hard. Make him work every possession. And Golden State was the only team last year I saw that really did that to Derrick Rose. So, you know, that was Keith Smart. But Keith Smart is not there anymore, you know. But I'm sure Mark Jackson, you know, is going to tune him up defensively. I'm sure they'll play better defensive ball, even though uh, the type of solid defense that Mark Jackson brings in is going to be more of a traditional nature. They're just going to be better defensively, period. But they're going to slow the game down. So they're not going to be as exciting to watch, even though they may be better, may be better, may be better, may be better, may be better.